Good morning. I'm ironing a shirt. Why am I ironing a shirt? Well, the thing is... Discovered this phenomenon which... Seems to suggest that if you dress in a suit when you're going to um, inspect a house with real estate people, you get better service. People take you more seriously. So I'm suiting up for work today and going to check out a house in the middle of the day. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Suited, suitably suited. And guess what I've got? Pretzel. Yum. The guy in that white four-wheel drive there just let me walk um, at the intersection. And I gave him, you know, the kind of acknowledgement wave. But then I realised afterwards I was waving at him with a pretzel. Hope he didn't take offence to that. And now, a game I like to call What's Written on the Fridge. So went out and checked out a house with Emma. Um, it's a really nice place. Kind of a, a smallish old house that's been um, really well done, um, really well done up, I should say. Um, it looks like a like an architect had um, had a go at it, and it's great. It's really cool. It's pretty unassuming from the front, but um, it's not huge. It's smaller than where we are now, but it's. Um, it also has a, um, a shed, two sheds, a little garden shed and a, like a garage out the back and a little lawn and a really nice deck. So yeah, it's looking like that might be the one, hopefully. It seems like um, the house we were previously looking at seemed like it was all probably um, signed and sealed, but um, the agents on that place seem to have been a bit dodgy so anyway I won't go into it any more than that um, hmm. anyway if it all comes off you'll get to see it rest assured but the coffee's ready ah hello how's it um, walking over the domain just dropped my car off to Danielle they're having their car one of their cars repaired so um yeah just lending it to them I'm not really using it this week Ooh, listen to those birds I wonder if I'm gonna get swooped by plovers it could be interesting um yeah so they swallows um mm, just having some thoughts about Domestic arrangements and things, priorities, all of that stuff. Working out the differences between what I would what I would like in a place to live, or what I would like in a place to be, and what I need in a place to be. And I'm just realising that my priorities are more about the facilities to be doing what I would like to be doing most of the time and less about some of the other nice things like I really would like an awesome kitchen because I love to cook but the reality is I would like to be doing creating stuff in the, um, the musical realm so studio type space is more important 
So trade off one for the other or have both. That's the beauty of the place I'm in now is that pretty much I get both of that. Um, I'm not making much sense at all, am I? Um, anyway, I'm just trying to work through stuff in my head. Um, and this is a good place to do it. It's like a little, or rather big actually, oasis. Pretty much in the middle of the city or surrounded by the city. So, for those of you not from Hobart, not familiar with this, we are on Queen's Domain, basically a big grassy treed reserve. It's got um, the Botanic Gardens over there, um, the CBDs up over there, the mountains up over there, and there's the Derwent River and the Tasman Bridge. Um, yeah, good for clearing the head. Pop down this way. Anyway, that's enough for rabbiting on. I'll talk to you a bit later. <laughs> That's a bit rough. I wonder where the nest is. Up over there it must be. Top of the... They don't seem to be too fussed about me walking here. It's a wonder they don't dive bomb the cars. I guess they're smarter than that. Do you know what time it is? It's time for... Gratuitous mountain shot of the day, number one. Shut. Here's a bit of a um, Hobart, I don't know if icon's the right word, landmark certainly. Um, it's the Federation Concert Hall, home of the Tasmanian Symphony Orchestra. Um, with the rather controversial brass um, cladding, you can see the installations puffing out the um, some of the joins. So I guess it's designed to tarnish, to give a weathered look. Um, oops, I think I just saw a friend of Emma's, but I kind of half recognised her and oh, who is that? I know that person. I kind of looked at her and she's I think she smiled back. And then I realised later who it was, and I kind of didn't really acknowledge her. Whoops, sorry. Maybe it wasn't her. Now I feel bad. I've had it. I'm going to bed. Sorry today's been such a boring, um, uneventful day. I guess you've got to have those sometimes. Um, but... Uh, I think maybe tomorrow will be a bit more interesting. So, good night. You wrote a song for you But you won't sing the tune You wrote a line for every day you were away Your voice won't sing but your heart That hears the melody And I hope someday Spicy blend of chai, it's my second favorite way to warm my heart.